This is the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop with AMD Ryzen 7 6800H APU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPU. Even though the Nitro series gaming laptops are placed below the Predator series gaming laptops, the Nitro 5 still packs a lot of punch under the hood to churn out respectable frame rates in AAA games titles. Let's find out what this laptop is capable of. Let's start off with the design. The chassis has a standard black and red accent color combination with a subtle gamer look to it. Apart from the RGB backlit keyboard and the edgy hot air exhaust, you can't really tell if this is a gaming laptop at the first glance. The polycarbonate chassis may not be the thinnest and strongest of them all. It keeps the laptop weigh at a manageable 2.5 kg. There are plenty of I.O. options available. On the left, you have an Ethernet port, USB Type-A, and a combo audio jack. Meanwhile, on the right side, you got extra USB Type-A ports. And meanwhile, most of the important connectors are placed at the back, such as the charging port, a USB Type-C with display port output, and a HDMI. Opening the lid reveals the 15.6-inch Quad HD display with 165Hz refresh rate. It supports AMD FreeSync technology that dynamically matches the display refresh rate with the GPU frame output. This will smoothen the visual experience, especially in fast-paced games. This IPS panel is surrounded by thin bezels, which contributes to the overall small laptop form factor. The panel itself has a matte surface to reduce screen glare. The 4-zone RGB backlit keyboard includes a number pad which can be very important for users who are used to full-size keyboard layout. The important key such as WASD and Arrow Cluster has a unique keycap to provide a visual separation from the rest of the keys. The backlight effect, colors, and speed can be customized in the Acer NitroSense software. The trackpad is fine for everyday usage, but I would rather stick with a dedicated mouse for gaming purposes. The Acer Nitro 5 comes in a variety of hardware configurations. There are Intel or AMD CPU options. Of course, a number of NVIDIA GPU choices available as well. The one we have here in the studio is a higher spec model with AMD Ryzen 7 6800H and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Our model even comes with a 32GB of DDR5 RAM, which should handle all your Chrome browser tabs with ease. Comparing this with the previous generation Nitro 5 AMD, while there isn't much of a leap in the CPU performance score between the 6800H and the 5800H, what really makes the difference is the Acer's decision to go with higher TGP graphics cards. For some reason, the previous generation Nitro 5 uses a lower TGP variant of the Nvidia GPU. For example, the RTX 3070 on the previous generation laptop is limited to 85 watt, while this time, the RTX 3070 Ti is not having any of it, going at 150 watt max TGP. 3 dmark has shown a significant 25% increment in the benchmark score. We can also see the same improvement in actual gameplay, going as high as 70 FPS in control with ray tracing and DLSS enabled. That is quite a jump from the 45 FPS on the 85 Watt RTX 3070. The same applies to Cyberpunk 2077, which shows a significant frame rate increment, even though it is still sub 60 FPS, but way better than 30 FPS gaming experience. Do keep in mind that all of our tests are conducted with the performance profile set in the NitroSense software. The performance mode will produce a higher frame rate roughly around 10% more FPS than the balance mode. The downside is the laptop will run hotter and the fan noise is much more louder. If you game with a gaming headphones and the noise cancelling microphone, I think the fan noise should not be a problem for you. Otherwise, I think balance mode is good enough if you just want to have a casual game. Speaking of the fan noise, Acer has done an excellent job with the cooling of the Nitro 5. While in gaming, I notice the CPU and GPU temperature usually hovers around 80 degrees Celsius with occasional spike that goes up to 85 or almost near to 90 degrees range. If you are not used to gaming laptop CPU and GPU temperature, 
don't freak out. This is actually a very reasonable cooling performance considering we have an 8-core CPU and RTX 3070 Ti running at 150 watts. Removing the bottom chassis panel reveals the upgrade-friendly motherboard design. We got two sodium slots and two PCIe 4 M.2 slots. One taken by the 1TB storage drive and another available for storage expansion. Theoretically speaking, the chassis is originally designed to support another SATA drive, but unfortunately Acer did not provide the SATA header for it. I don't understand why they don't use the space for the SATA drive or just occupy it with a bigger battery. And that brings us to the battery life. Since the included 58 watt hour battery is rather low in capacity, I can only get about 4 hours of usage by setting into the quiet power profile and limit the display brightness to 30%. Again, battery life should not be something that bothers gamers because most of the time they will keep the laptop plugged in to extract the most performance out of it. However, Looking at the empty space inside the laptop chassis makes me wonder why Acer don't straight away just put a bigger battery and perhaps we can even extract even longer battery life out of this. So before we conclude, this particular spec will cost you 8,999 ringgit Malaysia. The competition is quite fierce at this price range such as the ROG Strix G15 and HP Omen 16 also falls in the same price bracket with similar spec. Whether if you need the 1440p 165Hz display or Full HD 144Hz is entirely up to your budget. The same goes to the argument whether if you should get the Intel or AMD model. The AMD version supports DDR5 RAM and may run slightly cooler while Intel version supports Thunderbolt 4. It totally depends on what you need and they should have roughly similar performance in games unless the game can take advantage of the Intel's higher single core performance. Otherwise, game performance are mostly GPU bound. In short, there isn't much to complain about the Nitro 5. Generally, Acer Nitro 5 is a well-rounded gaming laptop that offers a lot of performance value for the price you're paying. It performs well in games thanks to the use of higher TGP graphics card and gamers should be happy with it. And that's all I want to share with you about the new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. If you got any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.